Yeah, I think, um, honestly, the second half and even kind of starting to go into halftime, I didn't really like the energy and the intensity from just kind of what we were doing on both sides of the ball. And I just think there was a little bit of complacency that set in. And, you know, we kind of slowed down a step. I think they sped up a step. And, you know, when you do that, you know, there's a lot that can start to kind of be flipped a little bit. And I think lost momentum couldn't get it back and just kind of had a dogfight there all the way through the second half. And, um, you know, I thought the interception right after halftime really gave us an opportunity to really go ahead and really build on what was going on there. And, um, you know, I think we just kind of got really complacent. And I think we need to learn from just the mentality of just being more mature in those situations and got to play a four quarter game, no doubt about it. What positive takeaways can you take away from this past game? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we flipped the run game uh, in terms of, you know, we ran the ball uh, pretty well. Uh, TQ did a really good job on the ground. Uh, Mariano contributed to that. Um, thought we did a really good job blocking. Um, that was really positive offensively. Um, we actually stopped their run game intentionally when they called runs. Now, we got to do a better job of containing the quarterback when he decides to run on a pass play. But I thought the run game, we were really good on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, I thought we actually uh, played a full, uh, you know, half of like offensive football that was really good in the first half. We just got to be able to put the ball in the end zone more um, to be able to come away with points um, is obviously what you need on the scoreboard. But I thought we controlled a lot of things statistically. You know, we were good on third down uh, in the first half. and. You know, I just liked our guys' vibe, you know, as we started the game off, and I think we, we had a good thing going. Uh, we just have to learn how to make sure we finish it out for four quarters now. So you got a chance to bounce back here at home again. Uh, preview yeah. the matchup with a pretty solid lacrosse team. For sure. No, I think it's, it's something where, um, you know, you look at lacrosse and they are extremely competitive. They are extremely scrappy. Uh, you look at the film and their guys play extremely hard. And... There's no doubt about that they're going to be a great challenge for us. And um, we've got to just continue to stay focused on ourselves. We've got to uh, improve our practice habits. We've got to be more intentional with technique and just details that really matter with what we're doing out there. Um, you know, that was a big challenge for our guys this week is you cannot look at the opponent at all because uh, they're going to be a very good team. And, you know, every week we need to expect to get everybody's best shot. And for sure, for them coming up here on our homecoming, uh, they're going to play with a chip on their shoulder, and uh, we got to be ready for their best shot against us. And so we got to stay focused on ourselves. we got to make sure that uh, the mistakes and the improvements that we can make are being intentionally looked at, and um, that's going to be the focus of practice here this week. Can you talk about the importance of uh, alumni weekends um, at the home game this weekend? Yeah, very important. Um, Hall of Fame banquet on Friday night. Uh, there's an alumni gathering on Sunday that I'll be at. Uh, you know, just a lot of really good activities for people to take some pride in and coming back to campus and gathering with, you know, friends from, you know, the time that they spent here over their years. And, um, you know, the football game is a big part of that. And, and we've got to do our job to capitalize on, you know, helping everybody else feel good about the weekend too you know uh, obviously we want to feel good about it we want to uh, display what our hard work is all about and make that come to fruition but um, certainly you know a lot of people deserve that on homecoming weekend to you know feel good about finishing the weekend off the right way and, and winning the football game and being able to have our team play well so uh, it's fun to have the activities we got to make sure that they don't serve as distractions and we're able to use them as a positive um, you know, energy moving, moving into the weekend, but uh, I think our guys will do a pretty good job with that.